I want to start this video with a question. Have you ever had a near-death experience? Or how many people do you think that are watching this video have ever had a near-death experience? In my opinion, contemplating suicide is a near-death experience. Uh, one that I think way too many people have gone through. And there's a lot of reasons for it. Uh, one of the biggest reasons, I think, is uh, how we treat each other in general. Like, society tells people to be themselves, but if you're not exactly how they want you to be, they're gonna shame you anyway. Like, you have to look a certain way, you have to believe certain things, you can't say certain things, and if you break any of these rules, you're going to get shamed. And it's crazy, like, more people are offended by the fact that I swear in my videos than the fact that people are killing themselves every day, and we're not doing anything to prevent this. And of course, most people don't feel personally responsible to help someone when they have depression, because no single snowflake is going to feel responsible for killing someone in an avalanche. And it's not even their fault, they've never had depression, they've never experienced it, so they don't know what it's like, they don't understand it. But I find it really annoying when someone hears someone has depression and they just say, oh, they should they should get over it. Like, when you have depression, days aren't even really days. All they are are just like these obstacles that you're just trying to get through. And it's not like you wake up every morning thinking, how am I going to kill myself? You're waking up every day thinking, how am I not going to kill myself? And when someone has that mentality every single day, if they hear about someone killing themselves in the news, that just reinforces that belief of, hey, if they killed themselves, why shouldn't I? And I think it's, I think it's everyone's responsibility as a community to say, why they shouldn't. But telling someone they shouldn't be sad because other people have had it worse is like me saying to you, hey, you shouldn't be happy because someone else has had it way better. It's just wrong. Like, you can have a thousand friends and still be the most lonely person in the world. And the thing is, if we took all our problems and threw them in a big pile with everyone else's, we would grab ours back instantly. And if you actually realized how powerful your thoughts are, you would never have a negative thought again. Because depression pretty much makes you think uh, life is pointless and that no one else realizes it, and if they realized it, they would be depressed too. And you're probably expecting me to make a video saying that life does have meaning and there is a point, and you know, you just gotta, you just gotta go out there and find it. And no, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna make a video arguing that because I'm not gonna lie to you. Life in general, pretty pointless. I'm just being real. Life is whatever you make it though. If you want there to be a point, that's on you, but in general, this is all pretty meaningless. We're gonna all die in like 80 to 100 years now, okay? We're very, our lifespan is very, very short already. But when I say your thoughts are powerful, what I mean is you can look at life and be like, dude, it's pointless, I should just end it now. Or you could look at it and be like, yo, life is pointless, we can do whatever we want, let's have fun. That's what it comes down to. I think the bottom line is you don't know what tomorrow can offer you. And really, you just gotta remember that there are millions and millions of people who have depression, who are dealing with it every single day, but they found their reason to live. And really it's just a matter of time before you find yours as well, whether it's a hobby or it's a person, uh, but you could literally find it tomorrow. And maybe you think you're different, like, oh, I'm not special, I'm never gonna find anyone. Guess what, none of us are really that special. It's still possible. Because you know, like, anyone, any, anyone could love a rose, but it really, it, it takes a lot to love a leaf. Like, it's ordinary to love something that's beautiful, but it's way more beautiful to love something that is ordinary. And really, it's only the ones that have truly gone through hell, who have gone through the most pain, that can come out of it and truly appreciate being happy and like what life's all about to the fullest extent. That's kind of like the beautiful thing about depression. Like, if everyone starts here and you have depression which brings you down here, you have that much more leverage to be able to go up higher to a higher threshold that normal people who haven't ever experienced that kind of pain uh, can't experience. They, they can't experience happiness as well as you can, so you kind of have um, a an amazing advantage on life. And if I was going to give uh, a tip to anyone who does have depression, uh, I guess I guess my advice would be that whatever you physically do, um, your emotions follow it. And what sucks about depression is that it takes away every bit of motivation that you have. That's why it's so strong. So if you wait around your entire life to feel like doing something, it's never going to happen. So I hope this video was actually uh, inspirational enough to make you want to get up and maybe make a change in your life if you do have depression. And if you know someone who does have depression, um, I guess the advice I would give for you since you've been watching this video so long is to try and be somebody's tomorrow. But guys, that's really it. Uh, if you like this video, if you think this was a good video, uh, if it left an impact on you in any way, or if you think it, it can impact someone else in a positive way, give this video a thumbs up down below so that more people can see it if they ever search a video like depression on YouTube. Because that's why I make these videos. I do it so that I can leave a positive influence on other people. But yeah, if this is the first time you've ever seen one of my videos uh, and you don't hate my face, feel free to subscribe because I make videos like this every single week. But anyways guys, that's really all I've got to say on it, so thanks for watching and I will see you guys next Monday. Peace.